long time no see. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't title this video Girl Walks Mysteriously in Woods, so you probably have a pretty good idea what this video is about. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So I had to come inside just because it was so incredibly windy outside that you couldn't hear a word I was saying. So if while I'm recording this you hear like a bump in the daytime, then it's really just because it is insanely windy out here today. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lauren. I have a clothing line called Lauren Michelle, and I typically try to share like my tips and tricks and just different stories and sometimes things that didn't work out for me and sometimes just my day. So uh, it has been a little bit of time since I have filmed a video and a lot of things have changed. You might notice that I am filming right now from inside my new RV. I'm super excited about it, but I haven't posted in a long time, guys. It's been almost a year since I've posted a video and I just kind of wanted to share. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to start recording again. So a lot has changed. We've all had the same year. 2020 was a mess. 2021 is exhausting, but we'll figure it out. And really, I the last thing I think I was talking to you guys about was how I was going back and I was doing some manufacturing and what I was doing and um, how I had finished samples. And funny enough, when they did the stay at home order for California, the day before they issued the stay at home order, I had actually been location scouting and I had filmed a whole, vi whole video about um, how to location scout and how to pick out a venue and whatnot. And I literally had just walked around with the property manager and was thinking about signing the contract and picking a date and I was looking at different models and stuff like that. And then we got a stay at home order. So you could probably guess what happened from there. So I kind of had to put the brakes on some stuff. Um, I went from making desk to dinner clothing to basically making masks. <laughs> for a very long time. When the pandemic first hit, I donated a ton of masks. And then once it seemed like everybody was kind of in a little bit better of a situation, then um, I started selling a lot of masks. And even right now, I still I actually do a lot of neck gaiters too. So it has been really hard to manufacture just in general, because if you've ever seen like a, a factory down in LA or a workspace, some of them have good ventilation, but there, there's a lot of, I think, opportunities for like infection and transmission. So it's, it's a little difficult. We're here in the middle of a parallelogram and it's really easy to get sick when you're, you know, just trying to make a dress or something like that. And are people buying dresses right now? Probably not. I think that we have probably all been wearing sweatpants for well over a year right now. I, I mean, like, some people are probably like, they don't even remember what jeans feel like. So let alone try to sell them like a cocktail dress or something like that. So I had to pivot a little bit and it has been, it has been pretty difficult. Um, just to be a small business that basically doesn't make necessities. <laughs> um, but it's still possible and I don't want people to get discouraged because I, I know that people watch these videos and they want to get um, excited and, and hear me say something positive. It's not impossible, it's just is a little difficult right now. The other thing that's really made it difficult is even though I manufacture in the US, where does the fabric come from, right? The fabric is coming from China. We've had issues with shipment and shipping has been a problem. The price of shipping has been astronomical. It's just really has gone up. So it's been really difficult that even if I'm making something, it's really hard to keep making it because maybe I can't get any more of the supplies that I needed to make that garment previously. But I did manage to recently add some activewear items, um, like lounge stuff, to my site. So I'm um, actually really excited about that. So I will post a link down below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. But otherwise, I'm really excited and I will kind of share. I know I haven't gone too much into like, I think there's probably some people that want to actually see the RV. Um, and so next time I will show you around the RV and maybe I'll show you a little bit of the process because when we got this RV, it didn't look like this at all. It has had a big transformation um, and I will post a little picture there, there, one of the corners. I'll post just a little picture of what it looked like previously and you can kind of see like 
behind me what it looks like right now. So I'll maybe show a video of um, some of the process because it was actually a lot of work. <laughs> But I think it was worth it. I'm really happy in here and, and it's just two of us so we don't need a ton of space but we've really had a, a great time in here. I actually have some exciting stuff coming up that I'm just kind of really stoked to share with you guys and just kind of share with everybody what I have been working on for a long time and uh, what is yet to come and maybe show you guys what my workspace in here looks like. But believe it or not, I am able to uh, cut and sew. I have all my machines in here. I have a dress form in here um, back over there and I'm able to drape. I print and process orders. I have thermal printer in here. So I'm gonna show you guys next time a little bit of the process and then later we'll move on to what my workspace and what me getting orders actually out looks like. You can see like the world has changed, so I had to adapt a little bit and I think this is going to be awesome. So I will see you guys later and please go forth and be kind and be creative.